what's up guys it's the Leviathan and we are back with another video today we are here for a reaction we are reacting to Eden's zero episode six um and uh yeah so last time where we left off was we were uh, finishing up the whole Ian Pino little storyline thing that we had with Professor Wise and on the planet Norma the whole um 50 years in the future thing and how they had to save Ian Pino because Ian Pino is being abused by Cyber Gang and all that stuff the episode was fairly good you know we got through a lot of um uh like a bit throughout the story more we got more into the lore specifically um we got a a lot of cool moments with shiki that's for sure um there was a lot of uh move showcases that we didn't really get before where we, now we have a better grasp of what kind of moves he can do you know gravity wave gravity kick gravity cannon you know just a bunch of gravity stuff and i and i can tell that there's probably going to be a lot more um bigger moves from him this is like a lot of the basic shonen things where you know they show showcase their moves you know they show you like oh i'm gonna show you like Example one piece a gum gum and all pistol or a gatling gun and then these are these moves you see for the very first time But these are like seasoned moves that they've already known and had you know, but these are the first time we're seeing it So whatever moving on um, We got more into the whole Ian Pino thing. We got to a an emotional moment with Shiki and bots Essentially because um, there was another bot that looked like Michael named Johnny and that bot was in a scrap heap and um, he got pissed because Cibber was abusing those bots. Like these bots, they seemed that they could, like they could be fixed or something. But when those bots stop working, it seems easier for at least people in this world to throw them away and trash them like they're garbage than to actually take the time to fix them and repair them. Because I think bots are so abundant in this world that it's like very easy to manufacture them and they get mass produced very easily. So. It's very likely that people, as soon as their bot stops working, they just toss it in the garbage and they like get a new one, basically. And Shiki doesn't like that because he grew up with robots and they were his family. So he considers them friends. And we got that emotional moment where Ian Pino finally kind of broke free from Sibber, even though something seemed to be holding on, holding Ian Pino t with Sibber. Like, I think uh, Sibber had something on Ian Pino, which, um, it, it, it the episode ended in a way where um, we didn't actually get to conclude that. So I hope we actually get to explore that more. And the end of the episode actually ended off really cool where we had uh, Space Pirate Elsie kind of um, both basically coming to Norma. So her and Shiki are, I think, are about to meet. So we have Professor Wise, we have Rebecca Happy, Shiki all on Norma right now. And... Um, we're about to get into episode six of, six of uh, Eden Zero, and usually with animes, episode sixes are generally pretty good. So uh, make sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications so you know when I upload more reactions of Eden Zero and many, many more shows and animes and movies. And um, make sure to check out the Patreon. Link is down below. You can check out full uncut reactions of this show and many more. And without further ado, we're about to get started with Eden Zero, Episode 6. Let's go. Civil Tachiba, Konomachino Gunjibot, Zembu, Bouts Moridata Mita, Pino no Chikaro Scatene. They've been stealing military robots, okay. No, I job you. I said, I mean, that kid. Okay, good, good. Okay, I guess that's it for uh, the whole Cyber storyline, I guess. How did Pino get here? That's that's the most interesting thing. How conveniently stupid. I swear to God. <laughs> okay. Maybe I think it was future Professor Wise who sent Pino into the past. Yeah, there we go. I figured it out. <laughs> I like to, I like to meet your husband. Why did, why did the robot say that? I don't un, I don't understand that. Oh my god, they want to kill him. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. They could be wanting to kill him. It's 50 years in the past, so... 
That's not a real job change, Shiki. <laughs> what if they get off the planet and then suddenly, like, they're they're back 50 years in the future? That would mean it was a pocket dimension, right? Oh my god, it's like a time paradox. I told you it was like a I told you it was like a pocket dimension or something. It's like a, it's like the their their world got flung back into the past while outside world is still in the future. He's like, yeah, you can just take it. No problem. Just take the ship. No problem, Professor Wise. He has ether gear too? Dude, Professor Wise has ether gear too? Really? Dude, that is so cool. This guy can basically upgrade his sh upgrade any technology. <laughs> Bro, that's so cool. Oh my god. Oh, so it's not an ether gear to fight. Fight then, I guess, right? The Machina Maker. What is it gonna be called, huh? <laughs> the Womp Boy, so cool. <laughs> so <laughs> the Womp Boy. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that 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 doesn't make any sense. What's going on? <laughs> How's Professor Wise of the Future talking to her? あの星は新入禁止指定惑星になった。未来ではない。ここは現代。戻ってきたんじゃよ。君らの時代に。え、いつ？君らはノーマにいる間だけおそらく過去にいた。時間を移動したのではない。時間を奪われた星に行ってし
She captured them quick, man. Hmm. I guess she's pulling them in, right? I'll see Crimson. Ooh, the seven seas. What seven seas? <laughs> There's no seas out here. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a red Xmas. Universe. Okay. So Professor Wise has like a lot of uh, talent. Mer oh, geez, human trafficking. <laughs> Well, they know a creeper who's gonna really pay a good amount of money for Rebecca, that's for sure. <laughs> oh my god, dude, cat girl fantasy. <laughs> oh no, let's go one million views. <laughs> You want to be a star, don't you? And take it off! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Isn't Elsie looking for Shiki, though? Like, she sees him, right? She... She wants something from him. <laughs> Yo... She's, she's sending him a challenge, man. That That is... I want to see what happens. <laughs> Ew, what the heck is that, man? Ugh, just pulsating all over the place. <laughs> okay, they don't look human at all, though. What? I, I thought our crew was all cool. They look like they're kind of like being mind controlled a little bit. We're not seeing any of those moves that we were seeing before. Oh god. Oh god. Ugh. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We have quite the sight here. <laughs> Dude, I can't I can't take this show, man. What what is this guy doing right now, man? I can't believe Professor Wise was actually about to like, <laughs> like do all of that. Okay. Okay. We got Shiki and Elsie meeting for the first time. What has happened to her? Oh no. So, uh, okay. Really cool, cool little, um, little, uh, introduction to the chronophage, which is that, um, that time monster that basically took 50 years from Norma. Now, um, that was really cool. I actually like that explanation a lot because now real Professor Wise, I guess, original timeline Professor Wise is still alive. And now we have a uh, young Professor Wise who who is going to, I guess you can say, live a whole different life than what, um, I guess you can say, 
regular Professor Wise lived. So that's cool. It actually created an alternate dimension so there's no time paradoxes or like timey wimey stuff it's like the universe self corrects itself the chronophage is like i will eat time but i won't destroy the universe you know because that's like universe breaking kind of stuff time paradoxes man so i'm pretty sure this chronophage has been around for a while so there's duplicates of people all over the place so interesting very very interesting um and now we got introduced to a proper introduction to space pirate lc and she is pretty badass at this point. I don't know what it is about her. It's like since I first met that character or even when I saw the promotional uh, poster for Eden Zero, I looked at Shiki, I looked at Rebecca, I looked at everybody. But as soon as I saw Base Fired Elsie, I was like, this does not seem like a Urza Scarlet ripoff. This seems like somebody who's their own character who's going to be really badass. And I don't know. Sometimes I get really attracted to characters just based off of looks. And um, I think she's going to be a very interesting character. She she looks for sure like she has an interesting story. Now, when when she captured everybody, it seemed like everybody was okay, at least in her crew. But then when, when they got on the ship, everybody seemed like zombies, like these um, squid zombies. And then you had all that other stuff in her ship. So I'm not sure what's going on. It seems like maybe Space Pirate LC got invaded by a certain alien or something. And it destroyed her crew. I I have no idea what's going on because did this happen before she was on Blue Garden or did this happen after she was on Blue Garden the first time we met her? So or I'm gonna have to wait and see for that one. But um, I think that was it for the episode. I don't think there's anything else except all the uh, weird uh, perverted moments of um, you know, <laughs> these types of uh, fan servicey types of shows. So. Anyway, I'm just going to end it off with that. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Make sure that you always eat your vegetables. That's a little piece of advice for today. Anyway, I will see you guys around. Peace out. Bye.